off there going, eh, Mark? And action. I'm the best service of what I do. And what I do. You got it. Go ahead. I'm the best service of what I do. But what I do isn't very nice. Cut. You got it. Yeah. Good. Great. Right. Got it? That's great. Right. Well, Brando is kind of an innovator. Genius. Yeah. Nothing brings us together like the movies. You know, we go with our families, we go with our friends, we go with strangers. Six months ago, I learned about John Bell. I've got my uh, pink unicorn umbrella in my Hello Kitty bag. He's a dad from Nottingham, England, who lost his son, and his son loved Deadpool. They get me swords in. Hello, buddy. Difficult for you. About, I think about 15 Oh, my God. That's really heavy. Deadpool is a character who is in pain and he fights through it. Today was about as much fun as a sad <laughs> It just seemed right to give John the proper Hollywood Deadpool treatment and ask him one question. We're gonna, check, we're gonna chat for a minute here. All right with that, okay. I just love to hit the mics. Well, I really only have one question and we're gonna go from there. Okay. I want you to, um, just tell me about your son. Ooh, <laughs> where do I start there? Hello, hello, hello. He was just so funny, so comical, and how we did everything together. He was my firstborn son. He was just absolutely everything to me. <laughs> Thank you for just stopping to appreciate everything. When I was introduced to you, you were in a, a Deadpool suit, basically, yeah. and um, you were carrying a bathtub. That's right. So yeah, it, it does, it represents the weight that various people carry when they struggle with the mental health, but it's visual. After I lost my son, Jake, uh, it put me in a very dark place. For a year, I was planning my own death and talking myself into staying because my family need me. My kids need me. What I do now keeps me alive daily because I've made my peace with death. Mm. I'm going to be reunited with him at some point, yeah. but it damn right ain't now. But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 miles. Welcome to Action, everybody! All I have to do is put one foot in front of the other. The resilience it takes to you know put one foot in front of the other as many times as you've done it and transmute that much grief into something powerfully useful. I'm very grateful that you shared his story. I want to share with you um, uh, that I, too, have a son, and that if, uh, boy, John, if I love him one-tenth as much as you love Jake, I, I feel like I've done a pretty damn good job. Yeah, I got it.